Hello, kindergarten friends. Today we're gonna to be reading a nonfiction book called Frogs. Explore My World, Frogs. It's from the National Geographic Kids series. Look, a frog up in a tree. A tiny tree frog balances on a branch. Tree frogs tiptoe on twigs and leap onto leaves. Sticky toe tips help tree frogs climb and cling. Down by a stream, a big bullfrog snuggles into squishy, mushy mud. Squelch. In a sandy desert, a spade foot toe digs with shovel-like back feet burrowing underground. Sploosh! Out in a pond, a leggy leopard frog launches off a lily pad and arches through the air and splashes into the water. Home sweet home. Frogs live almost everywhere on Earth, except Antarctica. You can find them on mountaintops, in forests, creeks and rivers, ponds and lakes, fields, parks, gardens, and deserts. This is a spade foot toad, North America. Australian green tree frog found in Australia. This is Fleischmann's glass frog. That's found in Central America. There are more than 5,000 kinds of frogs. Here are some from around the world. We have a flaming poison dart frog in Central and South America. Right here, we have a Vietnamese mossy frog that could be found in Southeast Asia. And up here, this is a Wallace flying frog and that's also found in Southeast Asia. Frogs come in many different colors and sizes. They can be tiny or they can be huge. Frogs can be bumpy or frogs can be smooth. Some frogs are even see-through. Most mother frogs lay eggs in or near water. Pop! When the eggs hatch, out pop tiny tadpoles. They live underwater and eat tiny plants. They look like fish, but they are wiggly, wriggly baby frogs, also known as pollywogs. Tadpoles start out with chubby, stubby bodies and long, flat tails. But as a tadpole grows, its body changes. It sprouts legs for swimming and hopping. Its tail gets smaller and smaller. Its eyes get bulgier and bulgier. Its mouth gets wider and wider. Finally, the tadpole looks like a frog. Out of the water it crawls. So it goes from that to being like that. Now the young frog is ready to explore its world and to eat. Oh. This frog loves to eat bugs. It shoots out its sticky tongue to snap up a passing insect, pulls the prey into its mouth and swallows it whole. Froggy feasts. Frogs are not fussy eaters. They will eat just about anything that moves as long as it can fit into their mouths. Frogs chow down on insects, spiders, worms, slugs, and snails. Some large frogs also dine on mice and even other frogs. Here are some of the insects that it eats. Bugs and caterpillars are fine food for frogs. Do you think a worm tastes yummy or yucky? How far can you stick out your tongue? This frog just nabbed a delicious dragonfly. This mouse better watch out for big hungry frogs. How would you like lizards for lunch and spiders for supper? Frogs eat all kinds of animals and all kinds of animals eat frogs. Birds and bats, snakes and rats, raccoons, fish, 
lizards, crocodiles, and even bears all gobble up frogs. How do frogs survive? Some hide by blending into the background. Some have brilliant colors that warn hungry hunters, don't eat me. These brightly hued frogs have poison in their skin. Jump frog, a frog on the ground can leap to safety and in a treetop, a gliding frog spreads its toes wide, jumps off a branch and glides. Happy landing. All in the family. Don't let toads fool you. Despite their name, toads are a kind of frog. But that doesn't mean frogs and toads are exactly alike. Frogs live most of their lives around water. Toads can be found in drier places, even in deserts. Here are some ways that frogs and toads are different and the same. Here's a frog. Moist, smooth skin. What does your skin feel like? No tail. Long, strong legs for jumping and leaping. Can you leap like a frog? Five toes on hind legs. Four toes on front legs. Teeth in upper jaw. Bulging eyes. Can you make your eyes look really big? And this is a toad. Dry, bumpy skin. What other things feel bumpy? No tail. Short legs just right for walking or short hops. Can you make short hops like a toad? Five toes on hind legs, four toes on front legs. How many fingers and toes do you have? No teeth and a poison gland behind each eye. Sing like a frog. Even when you can't see frogs, you can often hear them singing. Some frogs puff up their throats like balloons to make sound. Each type of frog has its own special call. Some are so loud they can be heard a mile away. Here are some frog calls. Can you make these froggy sounds? The spring peeper says peep, peep, peep. A bullfrog is jug -a -rump. A red-eyed tree frog says chuck, 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 chuck. A gray tree frog, trill. Cokey frog goes cokey. And wood frogs say quack, quack, quack. Very interesting book. I love nonfiction books. You can learn so much about different subjects. Today we learned about frogs. I hope you enjoyed it. And now we're going to do our activity to talk about what we know about frogs.